what we're about to do is going to really push us outside of our comfort zone. How right often do you up. see sharks? Just about every day. Wait, were you being serious about the alligators? Yeah, but they're on the other end. Let's say I get lucky and I do shoot a fish. It's attracting the you know what. What do I do? I punch them in the face. This is the most beautiful part of the world, baby. Woo woo. We're Karen and Nate. We used to travel on airplanes. Now we live in a van, as we're making our way to all 50 states. After getting the COVID vaccine in our hometown, we made the eight hour drive south to Biloxi, Mississippi. I have not been this nervous to film a video since starting the Colorado Trail. I have like serious butterflies right now. <laughs> Some friends of ours are friends with someone who works at the tourism board and they ask us if we wanted to go spear fishing. We agreed thinking we'll be in shallow clear water with a small pole spear and it'll be a fun new experience. When we jumped on the phone earlier this week, we learned that they had set us up to go deep sea spear fishing with the Deep Water Mafia. It's a spear fishing club. And this now involves us going way out into the middle of the ocean, putting on full scuba gear, diving down into deep murky water with a giant spear gun capable of knocking out our two front teeth. If you hold it like this and shoot it, it's gonna knock your teeth out, okay? <laughs> So that's what we're doing tomorrow, which means that we have a lot of learning to do today. We met the Mafia guys at a local lake. Tommy, I'm Nate. Hey, Tommy nice Phelps, to nice to meet you. Yeah, hey, Kara, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hope y'all ready for an adventure. It's gonna be sporty tomorrow. Yeah. What does that mean? It's gonna be a little rough. We thought we were just doing a little test dive to learn how to use a spear gun. It's been a oh, while. It's fun. <laughs> Turns out they were just testing us to see if we'd panic in the murky water that we'd be diving in tomorrow. Mark said he'd be our guardian angel. I'm feeling yeah. a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> He's only had to do CPR underwater once. Once. <laughs> only once. <laughs> we've uh, probably been diving 30 or 40 times, but this is definitely the most serious thing we've ever done underwater. <laughs> Thankfully, it seems like we have a really good team around us supporting us. <laughs> Your last famous words. Wait, were you being serious about the alligators? Yeah, but they're on the other end. They're not gonna bother us too bad. I promise, they're not gonna bother us. <laughs> Snakes, same thing. They're all on the other end. They're nowhere near. I don't know if he's being serious or not. Uh, sir, Julius can check it out to see if there's any snakes right here for us now. Why well, don't you being make a little circle out there, there for me and make sure there are no uh, alligators. Wait, have any of you actually hit an alligator before? More times than one. I thought we were just coming to practice in a nice, calm environment <laughs> at the local lake. <laughs> I forgot we were in Mississippi. How are you feeling about all this? Basically, get comfortable get with the gear, swim around a little bit. We'll take our mask off, fill it up with water, put it back in, clear it, kind of like we do in, you know, in the certification. Anything you're not comfortable with, that's what we want to practice out here. The weather's See, really setting an ominous tone for the day. We have never experienced visibility this bad. My hand in front of my face is about the extent of my visibility right now. The three of us had to physically hold on to each other the entire dive. Well, let me go. Any diving skills we were supposed to practice down there were pretty much impossible because even though we were holding hands, we couldn't see each other at all. So will the ocean visibility be better or worse? Better. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better. <laughs> A little bit. I don't know if that made me feel better or worse about tomorrow. <laughs> so we passed? Absolutely. If it wasn't for Mark, I wouldn't be going tomorrow. The only reason I feel comfortable in the water is because I have him. I'm so overrated. <laughs> Captain Crunch. Captain, Captain Crunch. Crunch. Yeah, it's, <laughs> the visibility was so bad that my eyes were like searching, I kept trying to I make things something. out. It was almost more comfortable just to completely close them. Okay. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. Keep on going, 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 keep on going. We did it! You did it! You, not yet! Not yet! <laughs> go, 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 Tommy, show Nate that picture. Do I want to see it? That's what I said. Yeah, maybe we'll get to see a hammerhead. That's a hammerhead and it's bigger than his body. How often do you see sharks? Just about every day. Every day. If you don't see them, you get scared because you know they're there. They're there. They're there. Be ready. Bring raincoats. It's going to be sporty, baby. Wide open. All right, here goes nothing. Today's the day. This might not be the last time you see this sandwich. <laughs> oh, I hope it is. <laughs> morning. Good morning, sir. How's the weather? Tommy? Good to go. Yeah? It's out, even out there? Well, it's going to be a little sporty, but it, it's not going to be too bad, but it'll be all right. Deepwater Mafia. Hey, I'm Nate. Let's go. Marcus. Nice to meet you. 
Y'all do great food. Yeah. Nobody eat out here. I got a bag of cookies and figured that's good enough. This boat's a little wet riding, and by the time we get to where we're going, you'll have to jump in the water to dry off. <laughs> It'll probably be wet. <laughs> All right, this should be a warmer ride. It's deep water mafia tradition. Every time we leave out to go fishing, oh, somebody's got to get up on the back of the boat and dance. Play the music. <laughs> got the girls doing the good luck fish dance on the way out. All right, I'm done. <laughs> they said the worse moves, the better. Way to go, girl. High five. Yeah, We've done all it. the good luck charms this morning. We're going to get on plane and we're going to head out to the triple rigs. The Gulf of Mexico, Mississippi, baby. It's going to take us about 45 minutes. I'm vertically challenged, so I have to stand up on the stool. in the middle of the ocean, all their structure that sits in the water attracts fish, and that's why we've come here to go spear fishing. We obviously didn't come here for the calm water. Right on my park! Woo-woo! All right, back to Good? Yep. Wow. I'm gonna go run a, run a line to the rig, and then after I get that done, I'm gonna drop that. down, get a visibility yeah. check real quick. Sharks away from smart kids. Now, if, if you look, I'm, I'm about to take my spear gun. We're going to go shoot a couple fish, chum the sharks up for y'all. <laughs> Great. You want to have eyes. You want to be a little bit All right, Marcus has gone down to scope it out for us. The last time that I went to go dive, I get this oh crap feeling like that feeling like you forgot your kids at school type of feeling. <laughs> I see Nick, he shot a big old snapper and this big like nine foot bull shark just goes boom and grabs him. No. So he takes his knife and he cuts his line to save his gun. This would have been a good story to save until after we got out of the water. <laughs> so this dive was really, really far away from here, right? No. Oh, this is one of those moments when I don't know how to feel. I feel very comfortable diving with everyone here, like everyone's skill level and everyone's confidence is boosting my confidence a little bit. But after seeing what murky water was really like yesterday and how rough the seas are today, competing emotions at the moment. Let's say I get lucky and I do shoot a fish. It's bleeding everywhere. It's attracting the you-know-whats. What do I do? Punch him in the face. We've done a lot of crazy things on this channel. This might be the craziest. <laughs> yep. All right, Nate, here. If you hold this, I'm going to get you a shaft out. We're going to get you set off. It's my first time touching a spear gun. We're getting in the water in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> if you hold it like this and shoot it, it's going to knock your teeth out. Okay? <laughs> Got to put your hand up in here. All right, here goes nothing. Go oh yeah, four. We haven't even gotten in the water yet. Marcus has come up with four fish. Check out this dude's teeth. Look at them. They're like hey. human teeth. Y'all gonna have a good dive. Would you hold <laughs> my fish up? I don't know. I don't hold them little things. <laughs> Love you. The visibility of the water today was unlike anything we had ever experienced before. It was kind of like an Oreo. As we descended, the first 15 feet were super murky like the lake. Then between 15 and 30 feet, we could see pretty well. But if we went down below 30 feet, everything got dark and murky again. And that's where Mark pointed to a shark. I decided not to turn around to see it. After Tommy showed us how it was done, he hung the fish on his belt, then he handed the gun to Nate, who had never fired one of these things in his entire life. Then it was my turn. I can't look! Good luck! I can't believe we did it! First try! 
This is bigger. I Two. think Nate might got you beat by one ounce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you, thank you. First shot ever with the spear gun. I didn't even practice on the boat. This is the first time I had ever held a gun. And then he pointed to the fish, and then he pointed at me. And I tried to aim. I didn't really know what I was doing. And then I pulled the trigger, and boom! I love it. Marcus That's is here to make us look good. <laughs> So how'd you feel, Nate? It was an adrenaline rush for sure. Well, here's to good fishing. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Y'all come back anytime, we'll do it. Okay. We'll go get some big boys. Y'all be fake. Woo! No, little chilly. So we've come to one of the barrier islands just off the coast with some other guys from the Deepwater Mafia and we're gonna cook the sheep's head that we speared. I already love it here. Oh, this place is awesome and it's just so warm. This is not at all how I pictured Mississippi. It's incredibly beautiful. This is not Mississippi. This is the most beautiful part of the world, baby. Woo woo. Oh, ceviche. Ceviche is one of my favorite appetizers. Actually, back at home before you eat lunch at 11 o'clock, your appetizer is a ceviche. Here you go, princess. Oh, oh. Hey, get a tostada, get a tostada. I don't know anyone who has more fun than the people in Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we know how to have fun here. Here we go, Omar's homemade ceviche. Oh my god. Mmm, this is perfection. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. The amount of cilantro and lime juice in this dish, it's awesome. Best ceviche I've ever had. Yes, sir. Time to cook? All right, so we got some sheep's head. We're gonna leave the skin on. This is called on the half shell. Just lay them right on there. So what's the seasoning? It's just garlic and onion, black pepper, and sea salt. All the best things. Beautiful. So we picked up a couple of shrimp. We did not spear these. No. no, and we didn't even trade for these. A lot of times we trade on a shrimp boat. We'll go out there and bring a six trade. pack of beer and you'll get about 50 pounds of these. You just do this, like that. Just cut it down the middle, like that. And then we take the poop out. Big fan of that. <laughs> oh, they're all over. Oh, it's on my back. It's oh. biting me on my back. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I thought it was a ball. It was just a, a ball. <laughs> Let's take the shrimp off because they're ready. Cheers, guys! Cheers, Poor guys! Night Mississippi, <laughs> baby! <laughs> when you put a little work behind it, it tastes a lot better. Butterfly caught, baby. <laughs> we got lionfish. Caught by Mar Miller. Nice Mark weekend. Miller, Mar Miller. Man. And we also have sheep head. Uh, they spear. Yeah. Oh, by yeah. Kate and Nate. Caught by Kate and Nate. <laughs> Tennessee Spiros. Here we go. Food of Mississippi. Mm. <laughs> oh, how do you like it? Oh, uh, me gusta. Me gusta. Muy rico, sabroso. It was really good. All right. been living a double life. Ooh. This is my first facial. Is the bed heated? It is. Oh. <laughs> this is so great. Hmm, <laughs> this is amazing. I think I'm ruined forever. I'm gonna have to get facials regularly now. Do I look 10 years younger? It's not over yet. He's an organic blend that is sunflower and vitamin E. Woo. 
so yeah, we haven't exactly been roughing it the whole time we've been here. I don't even think I need to say how relaxed I feel right now. <sighs> Whenever we haven't been scuba diving in scary murky water, we've been here at the Beau Rivage being treated like royalty. And we've been eating like royalty. <gasps> I've never seen this before. I don't deserve this. All of the worst parts of ordering crab legs are being done for us. Wow. This is crazy. <laughs> This is the oh, thickest yeah. wetsuit I've ever put on. I think I can go to the Arctic. <laughs> is that how it's supposed to fit? You look like a seal. <laughs> as long as there's no great whites, we should be That's good. Don't look like a spear fisherman yet? Once you get it over your neck, you want it tight. <laughs> how is it? That's perfect. I feel like I can't hear anybody. What? <laughs> Watch out, fish. <laughs> Somebody needs to call the road department. Tell them That's sporty. I'm learning. If the shaky footage is making anyone else feel sick, I'm sorry. But just imagine what I feel like right now. What's up, D1 and Bob, Woo! Just wave at them and say, come on. <laughs> you just tell them to come on. With your eyes. With your eyes. You look at them and you say, yeah. come on. You hold on to that fish. Don't give that fish up. <laughs> There's reason behind it. If you give them the fish, they become accustomed to people feeding them. You hold on to your fish, and that helps everybody down the road. They eat better without the tail. I can be the. What are uh, you doing? I told the <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Omar. <laughs> Crazy watermelon. Crazy watermelon. <laughs>